always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Well, we mentioned about a 20% chance for rain showers today. A few folks in downtown Grand Rapids, yeah, they got that 20%. Let's take you out to Storm Track Live tonight. You can see some very widely scattered showers, especially over on the eastern half of the state, up toward uh, Saginaw, Midland, Bay City. They're getting a few showers up toward Gaylord as well. We are mostly dry in the west side, the exception that one shower that popped up over downtown Grand Rapids and is essentially now falling apart. So we had this shower that rolled through. It's not falling apart, but we're seeing a new shower develop just to the east of Walker that will likely hit Walker here in the next 20 to 30 minutes or so, perhaps produce a brief downpour. We had a really nice view over Grand Valley's campus looking off to the northwest, but that shower has essentially collapsed. So we will still see the chance of an isolated shower, but most places are going to stay dry. We're at 79 right now in Grand Rapids, 81 in Kalamazoo and Holland, 83 in Muskegon. It is not negative 38 degrees in Ludington. They've had some issues with their sensor today. A wider view at Storm Track Live shows busy weather across much of the U.S. We have some showers in association with a very slow-moving disturbance off to our west. And then we have now Tropical Storm Ophelia, which is slowly working its way up the east coast and is really going to wreak havoc on the eastern seaboard as we head into the weekend. Forecasted to make landfall in North Carolina early tomorrow morning, uh, close to hurricane status, not far from it. And then notice it takes its time. Sunday afternoon still centered over the Maryland area. So it's going to be a rainy, windy weekend for folks along the East Coast with several inches of rain looking likely for places like Raleigh, Richmond, Washington, D.C., and then eventually uh, New York, Boston will start to see some rain out of this as well. Take you back closer to home. Futurecast shows that we do see clear skies overnight tonight into the day tomorrow. Much of the day, Saturday into Sunday, going to be dry and pleasant for us. It looks absolutely terrific. We do have some high-level clouds that try to build in into Monday, but uh, sunshine is expected to remain in control here as we really head through the weekend uh, in, into much of next week. Here's a look at that eight-day forecast. Mostly sunny skies expected for Saturday and Sunday. The biggest takeaway is that Ophelia has uh, put a wrinkle in the forecast in that it may introduce a bit more cloud cover early next week as the remnants move its way in our direction. Not anticipating much rain out of it, but we could see some cloud cover. Otherwise, though, temperatures remain in the 70s, near to above average for this time of year, and it's looking like overall pretty pleasant. First week of falls ahead for us. Yeah, sure does. Yeah. Pretty nice. Yep. Blake, thank you.